Oh damn, Warheads have got a new range of sour sodas. You might have seen on the channel we've already reviewed one of them, which was the black cherry variety. Well, I'm now trying watermelon. Hello everyone, welcome to Food Review UK. My name's MJ. Uh, thank you very much for a taste of the States for sending this out to me. Use code FRUCK20 for 20% off. Uh, brilliant website, they obviously do a lot of imported American products, but they also do imported products from like Japan and all over the world. And they sent me this, I didn't pay. So, yeah, this is uh, Warhead Sour Watermelon Soda. We really liked the black cherry one that we tried. Um, and it certainly was sour in fact nate's reaction was very funny uh, a, a funny thing to note about the sort of um the the the, the, the this the 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 rule the rules that americans um have to abide by in their food packaging because this one sort of like it it's in such a large font that it sort of feels like they're proudly proclaiming but it says zero percent juice in fact it says it says naturally flavored on the front there but then it also says zero percent juice which one is it guys <laughs> to be honest but yeah anyway um i had lil frucker the official glass of food review uk when i tried the black cherry one so i didn't actually have that big of a portion um and i've, I've got it again today but i might top it up let's give it a go oh a lovely little pink color <sighs> hashtag preview flavor oh giddy on Oh wow, uh, <laughs> bloody interesting. Uh, it's a beautiful colour, quite a normal sort of pink, slight hint or slight blushing of peach, but um, yeah, pretty typical colour I'd say. Let's give it a go guys. Oh, oh, oh. First of all, carbonation is absolutely lovely slightly sharp and attacking but not overpowering and it doesn't froth up too badly so it lets you get the taste and enjoy the texture of the soda without being you know blasted in the face by carbonation so i like that first and foremost mm. oh man that is so tasty and so sharp uh when i'm when i've got it in my mouth it's a very clear sort of crisp watermelon taste and reminds me very much of Jolly Rancher but straight away it's got this sharp very sharp tang to it not an overpowering sourness it's quite a pleasant sourness albeit quite intense mm. oh, really gets the sides of your tongue and the fact that it does that means it's a really satisfying drink to, to have um, oh that's really nice it's not super, super, super powerful with flavour. Like, it's not super sweet and syrupy like that. It's actually surprisingly crisp and surprisingly tasty and sort of quite refreshing, especially with that sour note. Uh, I think that people would really like that. I actually, I actually really recommend that. That is uh, surprisingly nice. And actually, it's not... I, although I would say this about the Black Cherry one as well... It's not as sour as I was expecting. Warheads, to me, the candy is like a bit of a challenge and like OTT, like massively OTT sour. This is just sort of very sour. Um, but it is also sour in a, in a refreshing and satisfying way. I think that's a superb product. I give it a low four stars. Mmm. A very lovely soda. Oh, crisp. Crisp is the word of the day. So guys, have you tried this? Uh, like I say, get onto a Taste of the States, bang them in your basket. There's a couple other flavours as well, apart from the black cherry and the watermelon. There is green apple, or apple. Can't remember if it, I think it's green apple. And there's one more which I just cannot remember. Blue raspberry, I think. It's definitely blue raspberry, actually. Christ, I'd like to try that one, actually. <laughs> uh, anyway, guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video, and we'll see you next time. Ciao's. Don't know what the ending was either. Nah. That caramel on top there.